Hello everyone, Smashing and there, and welcome back to the server. Now, I know I've been off it for a while before uploading that Ice King video. And I do actually intend on changing that, it's just that my base takes a lot of work, I needed a lot of concrete. Uh, but I have made, made progress, finally. And I wanted to take this episode to just kind of go around and discuss the plans I have for this base, alright? Because I have some very big plans that are going to take a lot of materials, specifically also glass. Which is why for during the Christmas episode, that's what I got from um, Love Dust. She, need, she knew I needed a lot of glass and that's probably not, not even going to get close to cutting it. Because when I say I need a lot, I mean it. I need like a lot, a lot. But we'll get there. Now as you can see, I've done a lot of progress on the base. I've filled off the walls, I've added some sea lanterns for lighting, and I've made four, four doorways. Because this middle room has a specific purpose we'll get to later. And I just plan on expanding these rooms into their own separate areas. One is going to be a storage room, uh, another one will be something else. Maybe I'll figure something out as I go. I forgot that this room doesn't have, an have anything at the end because there's a giant cave hole. Point is, I have plans, okay? Plenty. Plenty of plans. I just needed some time to really work it out and build it. Because that's gonna take some time. Mining this place out itself was already big enough of a, ch of a challenge. Then I need to buy needed to buy 15 more stacks of concrete. And in total I had like 18 when I continued construction after already using about 8 more. This base, surprising, it might not look like it, but this is taking at least 20, 20 to 30 stacks of concrete already. And it's not near finished. So the main problem I'm gonna have to deal with while continuing this base is that I need to build like... I need to just have a good sort of concrete soon, alright? I might see if I can uh, contact VM and make a deal to get like two shulkers of concrete for a reasonable price. But I don't know about how that's gonna turn out. Uh, now, besides all of that, there's not a lot on, on this server to really like, explore. There's no mini game district where we could play mini games. There's no shopping district where we could. Well, there is a shopping district. I mean, there's not really anything to do in the shopping district. I know I'm the mayor and all, and I kind of allow or not allow people to like build whatever they want. But that. How do I say this? That doesn't mean there's anything interesting there, you know? Because that's not a lot I do in the shopping district. I just kind of um, hop in, see, check the papers. Uh, say, tell people their shops allowed and then I ha leave it on that. So, frankly, there's not a lot to record or upload here. That's why I want to make a change to that. That's why in this episode, we are going to make a change to that. Because we are... I'm, taking, I'm actually taking a time scene entrance for this. We are going to grab ourselves some, sp some spruce and stone. I have no design in head, by the way. Keep that in mind when I make this. Spruce and stone and maybe I really know what know what other materials I could use for this. Do I have any other materials I could use for this? With some black wool and and um um uh, we're just gonna see if we can find a location to start a mini game district. That's all this is about. We want to start a minigame district. Where is it going to be? I don't know yet. So, this episode, let's find some place. Let's grab the din map. I'm, I'm grabbing the din map. And let's have a look. Because I have a location in mind. I just need to... Nah, there's a base there. That won't work. I have a perfect location in mind, actually. 
I don't want to make it too far out though, so that's probably crack that. I don't want to make it too far away. I want it to be easily accessible, but I don't want it to be in an annoying biome. So I think the location I have in mind is definitely the best, our best bet. Plenty of free space, so let's head. Let's start he just start heading over there. Actually, let's take some more rockets for the road. Ah, <laughs> I just fell off my base. Uh. Perfect. Ooh, actually. Actually. This might come in handy. Well, I can place the e-chest there. If you're wondering what these are, I bought I bought loot box. I, there's a new shop that sells loot boxes, and I bought all of them. I really needed shulker boxes, so I thought, hey, shulker boxes, some cool stuff in them. Why not? That sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. Now I think the place I want to go should be somewhere in this direction. So, <coughs> <coughs> fuck. <coughs> what I wanted to say, <coughs> well, the first. Randomly choking on myself. Don't take that out of context. Is I'm gonna quickly make a cut here until I'm at the. Oh. Oh, well, what's this? What is this? Whose base is this? Because it looks pretty neat. XP farm? Hmm. All right. And is there any sign of whose base this is? Because I'm curious. I'm kind of curious. Welcome to Vic Rocker. Who is this per? Who, who are you? Who are you? I I I don't remember anyone with that name. I need to quickly check this. Wait, what did they say their name was? Um. Yeah, this that th that's not someone's. That's not someone's IGN or something. So this is just. Care of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sign. Ah, I did not think this through. Did it break anything? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Besides that one torch. Welcome to some some dark space. Enjoy. There we go. Perfect. The perfect crime. I don't know why there's such a door spam. Anyway, sorry I got distracted. I'm gonna quickly make a cut until we make it to the area I wanna go. Okay, and we've arrived. Now, I don't know why there's uh, a mountain that's just flowing with water over here. But this, this biome at least, with all the trees and stuff, I feel like this would be a good location. Look, like right here, there's a good open area of just plains and stuff. So I'm hereby gonna just make a small dock by the water and officially declare at least this area of the map. Quickly figure out the best spot. There, that seems like a perfect location actually. I'm gonna make a small dock and officially and state this as the minigame district. And uh, someone's been here and found pumpkins, that's for sure. This is also why I, br I brought all this wood. So we can estate this as the minigame district. Let's make a small dock. Let's make it a tree. People, so people can come in like with their boats and stuff. Or well, well with their elytra. But let's not talk about those people. 
<laughs> Let's not talk about people like me, alright? Just a, sm a, s a small place for them to arrive to when entering the minigame district. I want to add a sign, but I don't know how big to make it, so I'm just going to try something. go down more uh, there I'm gonna let someone else make this sign look better if they want to but I've just wanted to build the sign and then let's 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 see from this one All right one two three four five and then from this one we go one two three four five and then in this one we line up with the pillar over here. And we build up. Very simple. Just a very simple sign to kind of show off that this is going to be where we we're building the minigame district. Because in comparison to last season where we didn't really do minigames at, at the end, I want there to be actual minigames now. I don't care if I need to build them myself or if other people are going to. But there's going to be mini games, one whether you like it or not. Damn it! Do I actually have? Did I bring enough wood for this sign? Because it, yeah, yeah, it's fine. The real question is, is it is it enough to be able to write on? Hmm. I'm I'm gonna see if I can, can just write games up. Do I have to? Yeah, I'll I'll use wool because why not? Can I write games on here? Is the real question. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to figure out something better. Let's quickly make a crafting table. I'm gonna see what I can work out with slabs. Give me, I'll, I'll be back. Give me a second. All right, let's see. I'm gonna leave it at that for now because there's something else I want to do this episode. Now that we've built the sign, right? I'm, I'm gonna invite people. We're gonna need people to come build mini games, of course. So, best way to do that is to spread some invites. So I'm gonna pass by some of the bases I know there are. Maybe I'll leave some uh, some invites at shops as well to see if we can get people to come build mini games. So I'm gonna quickly go to the base, grab the stuff I need, and then uh, cut to several bases or shopping districts where I'm going to build to be building stuff I'll be back okay so I've just written the invitation I'm gonna sign it and call it in invitation so I close and now all I need to do is to copy it over and over and over and over <laughs> and over and over and over and over again because I'm going to send this invitation numerous times uh, let me quickly make one more so I can keep the original safe and sound the original Boop. and then we take this original go to my ender chest put it in here I'm also going to announce something in the in the shopping district that I am willing to like use some of the shopping district's salt money to pay people to build a mini game because I honestly just want to bring some more life to the server again because I feel like a lot of people don't really know what to do now either they're stuck at their stuck with their base or they've lost interest I want to fix that 
frankly because I'm also one of those people who is now trying to return to this even because I've been working on a different project more info soon that I don't want to let go of yet and that has kind of been holding me back from building my base but I want to make it my return to my base and I want to return people to the server so what would be the best place to start for asking for people then right here Sears base the owner himself I forgot to take my hats with me I completely forgot I needed my hats for this well let's put in an invitation and well I have chests so is there a bed nearby so we can just kind of fix this ordeal I'm not infiltrating perfect all right now I just need to go outside please my chest put in all this stuff Except my bow and some arrows because I need to be able to shoot myself. I'm qu quickly just kidnapping Sears bed for this. Don't mind me. Now it, I, it should set my spawn point. So we just go whoop and do this for 10 times. I'll be back in a second. Okay, that just leaves one to go. So we just go and one. And wait for it to turn around. Shoot the second. Catch one. Perfect. Alright. Luckily I didn't have that many levels to begin with. Now I just take all my stuff. I prefer to just take one stuff first. Because now we have the heads we need. So that's problem averted. My inventory is no longer nice and tidy, but who cares? <laughs> not that sort not that sort of a person anyway. Don't need this, don't need this, probably will need this and this. Uh well not the invite. The chest though. Ah, don't need gold knuckles. Perfect. Now well, let's take this back. I don't have an axe on me, so I'm just gonna use my head. <laughs> ah, get it? I'm using my head. Haha, <laughs> fun. Haha, <laughs> puns, I'm so funny. And um, perfect. On to the next place. Let's just quickly skip the night though. Don't feel like dealing with night time. <laughs> Don't mind the chat, I didn't die several times. Shut up, you died several times. <laughs> Sorry. When did I when did I take screenshot? <laughs> <laughs> oh right, of the coordinates. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm just thinking, right, where am I going to go next? Let's see. Ooh, I know the perfect bit. I know there, there's two more bases near here. I, I'm going to quickly pass by with my shenanigans. One would be the one with the farm field. This one. The giant wheat field. Uh, which house can I best place this by? Ah, right here. Seems like the perfect spot to me. Bam. Bam. It's perfect. Alright. Uh, moving on. Yeah, there are some people that live surprisingly close over here. And I'm going to send all of them. I'm inviting all of them. Who did you invite? Yes. What did it cost? Uh, some stone stuff. It wasn't using it anyway, so might as well do something good with it. Oh. I said... I don't know. No. Perfect. Now, this is a shared base, so I hope they also share an invite. Because if they don't, well, that'd be upsetting. Uh, how many more? Seven. Alright, let's see.
Um, I don't really know where a lot of people's bases are now that I think about it. I think I found another one though. I, I don't really care who I invite as long as I invite people, you know? Oh, I should give one to Mordem. I'll, I'll save one and put one by Mordem's base. For now, let's go this way. False, it's that way. Another one. There's a lot of people together on this island. It's very helpful for my cause. I uh, there is some that I'm gonna tra have to travel farther for. I don't know whose base this is, but they've been invited. I'm pretty much just inviting any base I I see on the din map right now. Because frankly, that's my best bet at finding people. Out of din map. I think there's another one. Someone has a someone has a big project. Ah, right there. Perfect place for an invite. And there we go. And that will be half done. I've forgotten putting it put an invite in the last one. <laughs> I forgot to put an invite in one of them. I'm so smart. Uh, after we get back to this other other one and uh, give them theirs, I'm going to be cutting to the rest because I don't yet know where they are going to be. And I think when we've given everyone their invite, we're going to call it an episode. You, you don't have an invite, do you? Perfect. Alright, I'll, I'll be back. Just give me a second to find bases and you'll see me at the base. And that's another base done. Small, small issue I found with Tears base. If you stand over there, you hear very annoying clicking noises. It's very upsetting. But I left one at Tio's base now. Well, at least his farming area, which I assume he'll come visit sometime and find it. Emphasis on I assume. Tio, if you see this, please just check it out. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next. Uh, okay, so on my way to the next base, I've discovered something cool. You, rem you all remember the Ice King's Dungeon from the last episode, right? Well, if you fly over it, it turns to night. But it, then it becomes... When you leave its range, it becomes day again. Also, fun fact. You can see all the Ice King commands right here. Oh, bummer. It's pretty neat. Oh, what does that sign say? Boss bar, setup. Chat, click events. Replace ice wall, stage 3 break ice wall. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Oh, well, that's neat. Anyway, I discovered that and I thought I'd show it. We're almost at the next base anyway because it's pretty close to her, so let's just. Uh Oops, I accidentally don't. Oh, close the din map. I don't know where I'm flying now. And it's day again. It's like magic. Oh, yeah, I'm still flying in the right direction. Ah, yeah, the ice tower. I remember that. That was fun. I don't know if I ever put that in an episode, but I... I've explored it, I've gained some ice from there. So that was cool. This is not a base. That's not a base, don't worry about it. However... I'm still not there. There we go. This, however... Definitely is. Now, where are all the shoppers? We actually like the bed and stuff. I guess it isn't, so I'm just gonna leave an invite here. Uh, for the people questioning, uh, this is Power... Power X base, or our shopping district, Jesus. Uh, he hasn't been active a lot recently, but I still wanna give him an invite. He's a nice guy, he deserves an invite. So, therefore, bam. Invitation. And moving on. I think I'm just going to do one more and then at shopping district leave one with a sign that says don't take the book. Because I have trust people in not to not take the book. Oh, is this his house? Oh yeah, this is totally his house. Nah, I think it's funny that it's just kind of standing there. Oh well, moving on. 
Okay, I found one more base. I don't know whose base it is, but I'm just gonna leave one here. And then I'm gonna just probably end the episode. I'll build one in. Uh, I'll build one for Mordem and uh, the shopping district off screen and leave a sign. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.